Now, with Windows 2019 coming out shortly, I figured we'd look at some of the new features. In particular, I figured we'd cover the Docker container features, as that's probably one of the biggest changes over the last couple of weeks. So to put this in context, we're going to go back and we're going to look at the Windows Nano container and the Windows Core container as they stand today versus the new implementation in 2019. And by the way, this is a 2019. If you try to download it on a 2016 running uh, Windows um, Docker containers, you will actually get an error. So you can't do this without Windows 2019. Now, as you can see, we're going ahead and we're downloading the Nano server and both versions, including the 1709. And if we look at the 1709, we can see that it is a fraction of the original size. So we've gone from 1 gig to just over 300 meg. Not great in the Docker world, but still a huge improvement over the previous sizes. Now, we're going to do the same with the Windows Core Edition. And since that's over an hour to download, we're going to cut to the end where we're pretty much finishing the download. And again, there is a reduction in the size volume where the original image was several um, well let's call it tens of gigs comparatively so if we look at this we've gone from 10 gig down to 6 which is again a massive improvement still a bit laughable in the docker space but good now you might be asking how did they achieve this and the answer is quite simple they've stripped out as much as possible from these containers in order to reduce the sizes and one of the things that they stripped out, in, at least in the nano version, was to strip out PowerShell. So if we do a comparison and we go back and we look at the Windows PowerShell container, which at this point rocks in a, a reasonable, you know, 6 gig because it's based on the Windows Core Edition, there is no 1709 build for it. But there is a nano server build, which is kind of relatively recent, and that's built off the, the new image. So if we download that and do a comparison, if you really need to use PowerShell, that is, you can see that it rocks in at just under 400 meg. Now this still leaves Windows with a laughable disadvantage over the Linux distros, but it is a massive improvement and makes it worthwhile for any Windows admin. Now that brings us to an end. If you like this video, give us a like. If you didn't, you know what to do. And as always, subscribe for more content.